getting on the platform. Um, I had some internet difficulties this morning. So I'm just going to get set up. Hope everyone's doing well. Everyone, please say hello in the chat box. And let me know and let everyone else know who you are, where you do business, and how many interviews do you have that you have not promoted properly? Because that's what we're going to talk about today, how to promote your interviews efficiently and effectively. I got some notes here, um, but I'm going to turn this screen screen off and I'm going to show this. Okay. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Chuck. Good morning, John. Good morning, Shelly. Okay. I'm going to send you all this template after the fact. What is going on with these URLs? Wrap text. Here we go. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Susan. Okay, so everyone, please say hello in the chat box. As always, let everyone know who you are, where you do business, and how many interviews have you completed that if you're honest with yourself, you have not promoted. Okay, and I'm just going to change this format, columns, auto fit. Okay, we're going over this interview promotion checklist today. You're going to be getting this template, and today we're going to do it. So everyone is going to spend time creating their own interview promotion checklist. That's going to be today's work. Good morning, Rosemary. Okay, so Chuck, if you want to know... Okay, everyone tell Chuck how to get interviews, and if you are brand new, then reach out to the support team to get the replay links, okay, um, so that you can learn how to book interviews, okay? That's the goal, how to book interviews. All right, and so we want to make sure that you attend the other masterminds from before. So I'm just getting weird messages. Okay. Hello, Jane. Good morning, Candice. Shara, good morning. Okay, so I want to get into the content today. Okay, first I want to talk about some client wins. If you have a client if you have a win that you want to report, whether you're really pumped about some of the people that you've interviewed, um, you are, you've got a client, you've got a lead, you've got a referral, okay? Share with the group in the chat box some wins that you have in your business as a result of being a local leader, okay, and getting out into your community, all right? One of the things that we saw, I don't know if she's on here, but we have a client, Ellie Flake. She's been with us for two years now, maybe three, maybe two. And I know that she did a ton of interviews in year one. Um, I think she did 98, 96, 98, 100, something like that. She got uh, one client from all those interviews. And so there was this and I love this story for this reason. There was a little bit of her that said, huh, I did a lot of interviews. I only got about one client that I can attribute uh, to Park Bench that I know of. You know, and so she was debating whether or not she was going to stay, whether or not she was going to go. And I said, Ellie, you have all these relationships. You've given all this value. The website does all these things for all these people that you met. Stick with it. You're three feet from gold. You have no idea how many deals you're going to be getting next year because of the effort in year one. And lo and behold, what happened? She's already now got four more clients. She hasn't even really done that many more interviews. She's just followed up with all those people and continued to get out in the community and continued to use and promote the website. And so now her ratio... Okay, this is like sales 101. It looks like she had a bad ratio of deals to interviews, and then bam, all of a sudden she gets 
uh, four more clients from that database. And so our ratios are now one in 25, which, you know, that seems to be um, what agents are experiencing, one in 20, one in 30, one in 40. Some are as good as, you know, one in 10, okay, for how many clients are you getting because the interviews, whether that person becomes a client or whether that person refers you business, you know, there's a ratio, okay? Um, so if you have any wins that you want to share with the group to inspire people, to motivate people, to let people know um, th what the future has in store, if they follow the plan, follow the system, and execute it, then please share that in the chat box. Okay. Is everyone hearing me nice and clear? Is everyone seeing me and hearing me? Give me some feedback because I know uh, Lisa's having some issues or Candace is having some issues. Can everyone just give me some confirmation they can hear me and see me nice and clear? Okay. Let me know in the chat box. Awesome. All right. Announcements. Okay. All right, while well, everyone's trying to write down some wins, share your wins. Um, one, that free trip contest. Okay, so once again, it's already been going since the start of February. It ends Easter Sunday. The draw will be on Easter Monday, and the prize is for a trip for two, okay, um, to any real estate conference that you want. Okay, so you, if there's, if there's been a conference that you've always wanted to attend so you can grow, so you can network, so you can um, improve and get motivated and get inspired, learn about new technologies and services, then I want to send you and someone else, whether it be the person you refer, your, your teammate, your assistant, your friend, okay, to any conference you want, flight, hotel, uh, the ticket to the event, all included to help you with your business, okay? So the ways to enter, one, if you refer someone who joins the network, you get an entry. So it doesn't matter how many times you do that, you get one entry for, for every referral. So you, I know some people have already gotten three or four entries so far. Um, number two, if you write a BBB review, you can do that once, That um, you get an entry for that. If you write a Google review, okay, of your experience, even if you're new and you just wanna talk about the support or the training or the the group or your just experiences thus far okay amazing um just just tell the truth speak from your heart and and if you write a google review you get an entry also we understand that people who are interested in joining us we have we had 50 people sign up last week and join the network it was a record week for park bench things are heating up and the bigger we get i hope you all know the better it is for everyone within it right because that means more people in more neighborhoods more content better seo for everyone um and i love the idea of our network growing um for lots of reasons okay so the network is growing huge um and so we know that when all these entries, I think we get like 100 leads a day or something of people who want to get a demo on, check this out. So if there's some areas that you wish you bought, you might want to start buying up some areas before they're gone. People are calling, they want to call other agents. You know, it's, it's understandable. People want to call other agents. They want to ask about their, about their uh, experience thus far. So if you take a call from someone, you tell them the truth, you tell them your experience, and you encourage them to, to join, and they do, okay? After you take that phone call, just email support saying, hey, I just talked to this person named John Blah from here at this area. If he signs up, you know, I'd love an entry into the contest, okay? So if you take a phone call, we appreciate your time. We appreciate you know you telling people about the whole experience, and um, we'll get you an entry into the draw for all of that. Okay, so lots of ways to enter, and I think there's maybe about a total of 30, 20 to 30 entries so far, so really good odds to win a trip for two to any conference that you want. And then the final announcement is, once again, um, early renewal incentives. Okay, so if you're six months out, five, four, three, two months out, you can save money. So if you know you want to renew, then you might as well save some money. So reach out to your um, account executive or to our support team so you can see what those incentives are. Okay. Now, on the screen, okay, is the interview promotion checklist. Okay. I'm going to put a link 
in the chat box right now so you all can download this because today you are all going to create your own interview promotion checklist, okay? Um, first, I want to go over how to promote interviews in all these ways that don't revolve around you, revolve all around us. Park Bench promotes your interviews as well as the people you interview promote your interviews. And then at the end, we'll talk about how you do it. And then we're going to go create our own checklist and I'll be on standby to answer any questions you have about anything you want, hopefully about how to promote these interviews. Okay. So here's an overview of how to promote interviews. Okay. First, you're going to promote them. All right. On your social channels, okay, on other social channels, and on your profile on Parkbench. Maybe you didn't even know that. Okay, so if you have uploaded interviews, if you go to your profile on Parkbench, you're going to see the most recent interviews on your profile. Okay, so your profile helps promote your interviews. Number two, we're going to talk about these other social channels that you can create a checklist for so that when you have an interview, depending on what the interview is about, you can have a series of places to promote them, okay? Finally, on your social channels, you can organically post them, okay? And I'm gonna give an overview and we're gonna go deeper into a sec, but on your social channels, you can organically post or you can pay to advertise your posts, pay to advertise your interviews. And if you have the budget and if you want more exposure for you and for the person that you interviewed, this is absolutely a great strategy, okay, to get more exposure for what you do. I'm just gonna bring this over here so you guys can see it because you guys will get the notes after anyways, okay? The next thing is your interviewee promotes it, okay? After the interview, you should be letting the person know how they can promote the interview and that when it goes live, they're going to get a link for them to share it on their social channels and they're going to want to do it, right? You're going to want to do this, Mr. Business Owner, and share this interview on your social channels so you get more brand exposure for what you do and help you engage your customers, right? As I nod my head, okay? Because that's going to make people go, yeah, of course I'm going to do it. And then they will do it. And then, I don't know if you've noticed this, but on their business profile pages, the interview is there. So anytime a business is promoting their profile and encouraging people to go to the website, okay, and go check out their profile, not only is your ad on the side of the page, but your interview is on their profile. And this is great for you. It's great for them. Okay. And that's another way that um, your interviews are promoted and you are promoted for doing this. And then finally, there are some things that Parkbench does, okay? We don't spend any money on marketing and advertising because we have tried that before and it really did nothing for anybody, okay? Um, but here's how we do promote your interviews to get them more exposure. Number one, we put it on the homepage. Okay, so there's a dynamic way that we are promoting your interviews and we put them front and center at the top. All right, and that's why you want to make your thumbnails, you want to make your titles awesome because they're going to go front and center on the homepage. Number two, it goes the email newsletter. All right, so every single week, all the people you interview and all the people who are subscribed to the website, which if you upload your database to Parkbench, they can get that newsletter. All the people you interview get that newsletter. And then all the people who go to the website, who write a review or get a deal or that business, you know, or you get to subscribe to the neighborhood website, they all start getting this newsletter. And we are promoting your content each and every week. And then number three, we do optimize our websites for search engines, okay? And so there's a way to create an ideal headline so that your interview gets found. I just did the, there's a chart. If you go into Google Analytics, okay, um, a third of our traffic comes from social media about, okay, it varies a little bit. Essentially, a third of our traffic comes from social media, 
A third of our traffic comes from search engines, and a third of our traffic comes from other people who are linking and referring traffic to the website. Now, really, it's about 25% referral and 10% and, and direct, like people just typing in the URL. Um, next door, which is one of the reasons why when, when we – when you build your interview promotion checklist, Nextdoor is a top five source of referral traffic. You know, there's lots of local blogs and local places online that you can promote your interviews that will then get more people to come check it out. Okay, um, but our SEO is really good, and so I'll show you some stuff uh, in a second as to how we do that. All right. I'm gonna pull up a website so far, but I wanna go check this chat box. Okay. Um, hey, two, two groups in my town started their own directories on Facebook. Hey, Candace, anyone, if any one of you have other websites or other Facebook groups that have been created for your community, that's not a bad thing. One, it gives you more places to promote your content. Two, it gives you and us more content to then put on the website. Okay? And three, all it does is it's giving affirmation that there's lots of stuff going on in your community and all those sources they're just one source. A Facebook group is just one source. A local blog is just one source. There is no website that aggregates local content like we do and like you now have for your community. So it may seem like competition, but don't look at it as competition. Look at it as opportunity. More places to promote your interviews, easier access to local people who care about local content, and more people who are creating local content that you can add and promote on your Park Bench website. Okay, and and Teresa is absolutely right. You know these people are creating directories and maybe. So uh, these Facebook groups, just people posting stuff and you have a high and low quality of information. So if you create great interviews, that's going to help you stand out and differentiate. And of course, your platform is something that these other platforms aren't. Okay. And that's always going to help you stand out and differentiate it is never a problem. Toronto. Okay. There's lots of local websites in Toronto. It's a very buzzing, you know, there's a website called BlogTO, which is very popular. Um, and all that did for us was give us lots of good content, okay, when I had my neighborhood website. So I never hate other local websites and other local Facebook pages and LinkedIn pages and Nextdoor and, and blogs and all that stuff. I see only opportunity when more of that stuff is created. That's a good sign. Okay. Russ has con contacted two small businesses and they're excited about their upcoming interviews. Awesome, Russ. Okay. Why don't you tell Russ, why don't you tell um, uh, who was the one who wanted some help with booking interviews? Why don't you tell, tell us how you book those interviews? Okay. Now, let me show you the neighborhood homepages. Okay. Hey, who's, who's got a good neighborhood homepage they want to they wanna promote right now? Okay, someone tell me your park bench page and we'll pull it up and we'll have a look at it. Okay, what's your park bench page? Okay, let me know the URL in the chat box and we're going to go analyze your park bench website. Okay, and also show you how we promote your interviews. Someone give me a park bench website. Okay. Yeah, Chuck. Russ, tell Chuck how you book those interviews. Super easy. Parkbench.com slash San Pedro. Oh, Deb Deb won. Deep Creek. All right. Deep Creek. Now, if you knew this, I'm going to try this. Deep Creek, no hyphen. No, I don't want to do Google. I actually want to go to the website. Come on here. Parkbench.com slash Deep Creek. 
There you go. So did you know, Deb, that when you share the URL, you don't have to put the hyphen in? And because the hyphen can create some confusion and you can actually um, share it without the hyphen. Look at this. What a beautiful place. Holy. Look at those beautiful homes on the water. Okay. All right. Look at these interviews front and center. This is one of the things that we do to promote you and to promote the interviews that you do. And this is something that is exciting for the person that you interview to show them like, look, look at these interviews. Look at what this website's going to do for you. Front and center, I'm going to feature you on the local website for Deep Creek. Okay. This is a way that we help get lots of exposure. We make sure it's above the fold, right? The deals and the featured listings, and the events and the news is all below the fold because we want to make sure you and the people you interview are right at the top. Now, a little hack, okay, that you can all remember this. If you at the end of your URL put height slash newsletter, then we can take a look at if the newsletter went out today, what would it look like? Look at this one with Deb there. Amazing, good headshot, news, okay, events, interviews. Now, if I was Deb, I'd want to feature some listings every single week because if you feature listings every week, we can put these listings in the newsletter, okay? And then if you can add... If the people that you've interviewed, let's look, take a look at all the interviews that you've done, and we'll do a total other mastermind in the future on this, getting businesses to put up deals, sales, and specials, okay? So all these businesses, I am sure, um, have offered deals to get new customers. They've offered rewards for reviews. They've offered daily specials. Maybe you have, they have product sales, and so I want to get those businesses to put up um, deals in their profile because those deals will show up in the newsletter as well. Okay. But let me show you the SEO of park bench, because this is something that you can all convey to everybody when you interview them. Okay. So people meet Jim Harrington. Okay. CBD store, Jim Harrington, CBD Okay, in Punta Gorda, Punta Gorda. Okay, Google.com, look at that. Park Bench is number one. Jim Harrington, CBD, Park Bench is number one. Jim Harrington, Punta Gorda. Park Bench, wow, look at this. Park Bench is number one. Let's look, let's see if we can go even harder. CBD, Punta Gorda. Park Bench is on the first page. This is amazing. Okay. This is the kind of stuff, okay, that you can let businesses know, hey, not only am I going to make you look good in this interview, not only am I going to promote this on social media, and if you promote this, we're going to get you lots of exposure for what you do. But this thing is going to rank very well. So it's going to be on the first page or second page. Okay, likely the first page because I make sure that I put the right headlines in. So um, kudos to Deb for using great headlines. I sometimes see realtors with not good headlines. Okay, because this is what helps these interviews show up in the search engines so that forever and ever and ever you... And the person you're interviewing, right? Look at this right there. Click on it. Brings me to the website. Now I see you. Now I see the person I interviewed. Now I see this interview that makes them look good. Okay. And the fact that you can give them something of SEO value that makes them look good. That's a lot of value, people. Okay. So... Here's how I would improve this headline, okay? I would do, okay, um, I wonder what the name of the business is called, okay? Well, this is a pretty good headline, but I might do, hey, meet Jim Harrington, owner of the CB, of your CBD store, a, you know, 
Cannibal, Cannabidoil, whatever you pronounce that thing, uh, store in Punta Gorda. Okay, because I'm thinking, what are the key words? Okay, this is the way you should be thinking about when you do your interviews. What are the key words? Okay, that people are searching for when you think they're interacting with this person. They're searching for their name. They're searching for the business name. They're searching for the type of business. They're searching for the area name. Okay. So all this stuff. All right. Really good job. But this is one of the ways. All right. This is how Park Bench will promote your interviews. Has the video froze? Okay. Deb talks about the problem in getting the interviewee to promote it on social media. Well, that's what we're talking about next. Okay, there's two things. You got to think, why would a person share this on social media? One, they're reminded to. It's usually not, it's usually not because they don't want to. It's usually because they forget. I mean, they're business owners. They've got lots of stuff going on. And so we have a template, okay? If you reach out to the support team, then they will send you an email template, that you can use to remind people that you've published the interview and here's the benefits of sharing it and here's the link so they can share it. So sometimes people just forget and you just need to remind them to share it. The other reason why people don't share it is because they don't know the benefits of it. Okay. And so this is why, again, at the end of the interview, you want to let the person know in the wrap-up phase, hey, so happy. What a great interview. Um, let, let me just talk about next steps. So first, once I promote, once I submit this interview, you're going to get an email with a link to the interview. I'm going to share it on my social channels and other local channels online so you can get more exposure. And you're going to share it on your social media, right? And you want to get them to affirm that they're going to share it on their social media. Okay. Then, and you want to tell them how they're going to do it. It's because you're going to share the link. You say, awesome, because here's this. The person says, yeah, of course I'm going to share. Awesome, because here's what we have found is that when the person who interviews and the interviewee both share the interview, people and their fans and friends are going to reshare it and like it and comment it. We're seeing 100 to 300 people on average check out the interview when we share it and i've seen some people able to get 500 a thousand and the record is 3600 people i really should see if there's a new record now because that's been a while but 3600 people checked out one interview because the realtor shared it on social media and the business shared it on social media and both people were pretty popular on social media and lots of people liking and commenting and resharing it. 3,600 people, one interview, amazing brand exposure. Okay, and sometimes when you give the stats, okay, it gets, it affirms some logic behind why they should share it. Okay, because if they don't share it, they get less brand exposure. And the whole point of this is to help them get brand exposure. Okay. Now, they're going to want to share it on all their social channels, not just Facebook, but you could send them the raw video file so that they can put it on their YouTube. You're going to want to help them share it on LinkedIn, as well as Twitter, as well as Instagram, as well as if they have an email newsletter, they should let their email newsletter know that they've just been interviewed and featured on a local website and check it out. Just like if you have an email newsletter on top of the park bench one, we are sharing the content on social, on the email because email is a great place that gets exposure and gets clicks. Okay. Now the other thing is let's take a look at this business profile page. Okay, you can now see that if people are on the profile page, the interview is also there. Okay, and so forever and ever and ever, if that business, all right, puts up some deals and sales and specials, then they can promote their profile, parkbench.com slash your CBD store. It'll redirect to the full link. 
Okay, and then all of a sudden you get exposure, they get exposure, right? You get exposure, they get exposure, their interview gets exposure, and now people are writing reviews and getting deals. And now you and that business and that interview is getting tons more exposure forever and ever and ever. Okay. If you have any questions about anything I've said so far, put that in the chat box. But now I want to get to what you should do and the exercise for today's mastermind, okay, which is to create this. All right. We'll go over this in a sec. So obviously when you do your interviews, you're going to want to share it on your social channels. All right. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is paid versus organic. Okay. So, yes, if you just organically post it on Facebook, now here's the best strategy for Facebook, is you share it on your business page. Okay, you, sorry, you post it on your business page. And then you share that post on your personal page. Okay, so if I was to go to Facebook, and I was to go to my business page. Okay. And I was to go find a post. What I would do. Okay. So, hey, here's, let's take a look at some of the posts that I've done. If you haven't liked my page, go like my page. Go like my page on Facebook. I need some more likes. All right, you guys can watch some great interviews that I've done with real estate experts. But let's take a look at some posts. Okay, here. Here's a really cool um, post that I did. Okay, and some videos. One sec, the internet's a little bit slow. All right, so what I can do here, I find this post. Okay, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to change it. I want to operate as my personal page. See what I just did there? I can share this. I can reshare this. I have lots of different business pages, but I'm going to share this. Okay, I'm going to like it. I should really love my own posts. Okay, and I'm going to share it. Okay, with my friends. And I'm going to write a post. Okay. Hey, if you're a real estate professional and you want to, you know, be great at video marketing, check out this blog. Okay. Post. Done. You know, so. This is, when you are on Facebook, that is the ideal order because one, that gives you exposure to your business page and two, it gets your blogs and your interviews and your videos exposure on your personal page, which your personal page may have more fans and friends, may have more friends than your business page. So by doing this, you'll build up the likes to your business page as well as Facebook's algorithm is bullish on promoting stuff that's done on a personal page, okay? And so you get exposure through Facebook's algorithm by doing stuff on your personal page, but you get some exposure to your business page, which is what you also want, okay? Now, if you are doing video interviews, you are going to want to post that video natively to Facebook. As much as, you know, I want you to promote your park bench page, you will get way more exposure for your videos if you post that video natively. That means you upload, okay? That means you go to your business page and you say, okay, I'm going to, okay, post a video. Here we go. I'm going to upload a video, okay, from my computer, all right? 
and it's going to the that file is going to go on my Facebook page. Okay, you definitely want to do that. Now, the great thing about social media is you don't just need and you don't just only can do one post. Okay? So you're going to want to do multiple posts. Post that video natively to Facebook. Post your park bench blog to Facebook. Create a post on your personal website and share that too. Okay? The more posts you do, the better. There is no way that you can post too much. Now, I'm not going to do all these three posts all at once. One week I may post this video natively. The next week I may post that same video but on the park bench, my park bench blog. And then the following week I may repurpose that content, put it on my own personal website and share that too. Okay, you want to squeeze as much out of these interviews as possible. All right. Now that's organic. Same thing with YouTube. You're going to want to upload. Okay. So I'm on Facebook. Okay. And I put all my interviews that I do natively. Okay. On to Facebook. Then I go to YouTube. Okay. And I have my own channel, which I hope you all watch. Okay, once again, subscribe to my channel on, on YouTube. Little plug there. Okay. Um, because there's some really cool interviews that you'll learn a lot out of if you like YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. I like YouTube more than I like watching videos on Facebook. So whichever one you like watching videos on, you'll learn so much, okay, um, about the industry from this stuff. This guy is the number one team in North America or he was in 2016, he's top five. She's a social media expert. She's, you know, director of growth at a big Ben Kinney's group. She's got an auction brokerage in Toronto. Um, this guy's an independent, okay? This guy's the right-hand man at Compass. This guy's an independent broker. This guy is just a super smart techie. This guy owns a rental, comp a rental homes company. So many really cool interviews for you guys to get to know the industry more, okay? But, um, I'm going to put my videos on YouTube, okay? And then I'm going to be sharing them as well. And I'm going to go onto my Facebook page and share the YouTube link. Share the YouTube link on my Facebook page. Another post, okay? There's so many ways I can post this. Then I'm going to create, you know, a one-minute snippet of the video and post it on Instagram. Okay, I'm going to post my videos on YouTube. On LinkedIn, I'm then also going to go on LinkedIn, and just like Facebook, I'm going to post on here as well. And I'm going to post on Twitter. In fact, I'm going to try to create as many tweets as possible based on the content that's in the interview to, to post on Twitter as many times as possible. Now, Deb asks, is YouTube where I start? When you create a video file, you're just going to put it in two places instantly. You're going to put it on YouTube and you're going to put it on Facebook. It should just be a one-two punch every single time. You do a video, put it on your Facebook page, put it on your YouTube. Just nowadays, because Facebook is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger in a video, you just, just every single time you do video, it doesn't matter what kind of video that you do, put it on your business page, on your Facebook, put it on your YouTube every single time. Okay, and then on Parkbench, you are going to put your YouTube link. Okay, there's no way for us to embed a Facebook link right now. So um, I don't even know if Facebook even does that. But what we can do on, on your Parkbench is you can put, um, if, if there was a video about this business, okay, you could put that, that YouTube link. Okay, let's see if she's done some videos. Deb's done some videos. Yeah, so so... Deb's exactly right. If you do a video, you're going to put it on YouTube, and then you're going to put that YouTube link on Parkbench, and so Parkbench can help you get more YouTube views. But you should also put the files on Facebook as well. Okay. Now, Debbie and John ask, make a really good point. Do your friends ever give you a hard time about sharing your business on your personal page? 
It depends on what I'm sharing. So if all I'm doing is sharing real estate stuff, then your friends are probably going to get pissed off because they don't care about real estate stuff all the time. Now, the great thing about the interviews is it's not real estate stuff, but it's business stuff. And so I've never heard friends get pissed off that a realtor is sharing their interviews on their personal page. In fact, I have seen realtors get leads because they're sharing their interviews on their personal page. And now their friends are like, wow, look at what you're doing. You're so different. You're so great. I didn't realize you focus in this neighborhood. You're an expert here. Okay. Um, and people have now gotten referrals and clients, okay, from posting on their personal Facebook page. So you absolutely want to post business stuff on your Facebook page, but you want to maybe use the 90-10 rule, okay? 90% of the time, not about real estate. Great thing about the interviews and posting local events and posting local deals and posting local news on your personal Facebook page is that stuff is everyday content that people do enjoy and do want and do need. And then 10% of the time, you can put up homes for sale, you can put up open houses, you can put up real estate videos, real estate education, all that stuff. Okay. And what Park Bench really helps you do is it helps you because most of you don't run out of real estate content to share. But the problem is you, uh, most realtors have had a hard time applying the 90-10 rule with having 90% of other content, right? The, the having other content to share was a hard part. But now you look at your page, okay, there's so much to share. You've got your interviews, you've got news, you've got events, you've got deals, you've got businesses in the directory, you've got um, all sorts of stuff. You can, you can let people know that they can apply to be interviewed, you can let people know they can subscribe to the newsletter, um, all sorts of stuff. You can let people know that they can create a business profile, um, you can tell people that you know they can get market reports or home valuations, right? Like share this every once in a while. Go to your page, click on this button, okay? Share this on your social media, okay? Share these buttons. Share the the share the links, okay? Share this on your social media, and you might get some leads. Okay, is it possible to share the Park Bench newsletter social media? Absolutely. Check this out. Okay, if you didn't see this earlier, what you can do is whoops. Okay, you can share this link. Okay, so every one of you, every one of you, when you just put hyphen newsletter, okay, at the end of your website, you can then share that on social media. Um, and there's even a video online where you can inspect element um, or view page source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can copy this. And if you have MailChimp or whatever, um, you can you can you send this out to your database. But really, you should just upload your database to Park Bench so they can get it automatically. But you can share this on your social media for sure for like a local digest. All right. The other thing that I'm noticing, so most realtors, they're good at posting on Facebook. You know, they're good at putting their videos on YouTube. Some will put it on LinkedIn and Twitter as well. Most are not creating little snippets that put it on Instagram. Okay. If you have your own email newsletter, okay, add it to your own email newsletter. Okay. But here's the other thing that I want more people to do, okay? You're creating this content, and you want exposure for you, and you want exposure for the person you're interviewing, then you can go on Facebook, okay? You should have a business manager where you can manage ads, and you should advertise your interview or advertise your um, – or sorry, boost – Okay, your interview. Advertising will achieve way better results than boosting. Okay, but either one will help you and the person you interview get more exposure. It will help more people go to the website. You don't have to spend a fortune, um, but to spend five or ten bucks per interview is just going to ensure that a lot of people in your area see this. 
and that helps you and that helps the person you interviewed so even the person you interview gets more benefit and what are they going to want to do for you if they start seeing more benefit think of this as investing in that relationship okay lots of people will spend money on relationships if you spend money to advertise the interview about the person you interviewed to the target audience okay um that that person serves in your area then you are giving that person more value you're spending money on that relationship to add more value to them which is going to make them more likely to use you and refer you so i recommend that people spend five or ten dollars per interview to get a little bit more exposure um, and that will help you get more results okay tim um, totally right. If you upload your video to YouTube, it will create captions. It will create a transcription. It will almost auto-transcribe the interview very well, and Facebook is now doing it too. Okay, um, so really cool things so you can get a transcription so that you can um, put that transcription. Now, Facebook, they're not helping people um copy and paste that transcription youtube i believe you can copy and paste that tr uh, transcription um at the very least you can retype it out so that on your website when you upload a blog okay when you upload a video let's take a look at deb for all our video interviews not only do you want to put a video interview up but you also want to write some text below as well because this is going to further boost the search engine optimization of the interview. Now, you put pictures, which are awesome. Okay, you put some text information about that business, which is good. I would maybe just write a couple sentences as well because that's going to um, benefit, you, benefit you in this interview from an SEO perspective. Okay, Tim, you can download an SRT file, which is the text of the transcription. That is awesome. Thank you, Tim, for sharing that little tidbit. You must be pretty techy, Tim. Uh, thank you so much. Everyone say thank you, Tim. That is a good techy insight to get that transcription. All right, I wanna get started on getting these interview checklists done because this is what the checklist is all about. Okay, it is creating a checklist of other places that you can promote your interviews because when you complete your interview, if you have a checklist of other places for you to just post that link, okay, um, you're going to get more exposure, that business is going to get more exposure, you're going to get more results, they're going to get more results, and therefore you're going to get more results. Okay, so here are the different options of things to think about that you will want to put in this checklist. Okay, Facebook groups. So um, whoever earlier, Candace, said that, you know, there's more Facebook groups forming in the community or about the community on Facebook. I love that. Okay, you should get those links. You should join those groups. And whenever you do interviews, you should post on those groups. If there's Facebook pages um, about the community or about a certain, you know, theme around the community, which we'll think about here, okay? Sometimes there's groups around health and fitness and wellness and nutrition. Sometimes there's groups around food and drink or city and government and politics and, you know, municipality and stuff like that. Then there's like arts and music and culture kind of groups. Then there's stuff that's very much about the professionals, the local professionals group, the local business owners group, the small business owners group, um, a hiring board, a job board where, where employees and businesses come, come together. Um, there's usually lots of groups around this. And then there's groups around nonprofits and charities and local organizations and associations. So there's themes for Facebook groups. There's themes for LinkedIn groups. And you're gonna wanna research these groups Put these uh, URLs into a spreadsheet so that when you do an interview, you can look at what groups that interview relates to. Okay, you don't want to post an interview on a group that doesn't really care to read that. Um, but you will want to 
definitely post those interviews. Like if you interview a restaurant owner, you're going to want to put that interview on a foodie group. If you interview a local accountant, you're going to want to put that interview on a local professionals group. Okay. If you interview a nonprofit or a charity, you're going to want to put that interview on a nonprofit, you know, group, all right, a volunteer group. Then for all of our American friends, you guys have next door. I mean, maybe some parts in Canada have it, but not really. Um, next door is, is a, a, a local Facebook for neighborhoods. And we love next door because it's a, a congregation of locals that if you're a part of it, you can promote your content, not only your interviews, but you can promote local news, local events, local deals. You can promote your local content and pull people off of a website where you don't have exclusivity to, where you aren't allowed to promote your real estate stuff. You can pull them onto a website where you do have exclusivity and where you can promote that content. Okay, so I love Nextdoor because it has helped many of our agents get lots of exposure for their interviews and for their Park Bench website and for what they do. Then if you're techie um, and into the whole, you know, dark web, you know, and, and deep web, you got Reddit. Okay. And so this is where a lot of techie people congregate. This is like a big giant forum. Okay. I'll, let me pull it up in case some of you guys have seen this. So um, this is definitely a very interesting group. Who's a part of Reddit? Put that in the chat box. Okay. It's one of the most popular visited websites in the world. Um, where people post stuff and then they upvote and downvote um, these things, but you can search for your area. So if um, if you let, let's take a look at someone Dunville. Okay. If I just go search for Dunville, all right, Dunville, Ontario. So there is, you know, perhaps okay. A group for Dunville. Dunville Pests. Um, you know, Dunville, Autumn Fans, Hamilton. Okay. Ontario. Okay, so there's all these subreddits. And so I might be able to go to the subreddit, which is this is all related to Ontario stuff, and I could promote. My, if I have Ontario content to promote, I could promote it on here. Say I've got some, you know, um, yeah, look, fishing. Say I interviewed a fishing business. I could then promote it on this fishing Reddit, okay, and get more exposure to it, okay? So Reddit is like a big giant form with a whole bunch of sub forms built around some topic. All these R slash is a different topic. And um, you can just find, look at this, R. Dunville, okay? No posts yet. Add a post. I could be one of the first ones to promote it. Now, there's probably not a lot of people on this Reddit, so that's not that important or useful. But you could find a whole bunch of subreddits that relate to the topics that you might do interviews on and then promote your interviews on there, okay? Um, yeah, so what can you post on Nextdoor? You can promote anything on Nextdoor. Who has posted content on Nextdoor? If you've posted content on Nextdoor, put that in the chat box. But you can definitely promote your interviews, news. You can promote local news, local events, local deals, okay? If you are just an organic user of the website, you're not allowed to promote, as far as I understand it, you're not allowed to promote your business. You're not allowed to promote your products and services, but you can indirectly do it by promoting park bench content, pulling people off the platform where you are now on every single page and you are now showing your homes for sale and all your real estate stuff. Now, if you are paying next door okay next door for all these that don't know is is a private social network for neighborhoods like facebook for neighborhoods and one of the things that are selling realtors is an ad service okay no different than advertising on facebook or advertising on zillow and so if you're advertising on on next door then you want to advertise your properties for sale you want to advertise your your clients you want to advertise um 
You could also advertise maybe your interviews. I don't know the, the full details of it, but you should ask them, hey, if I'm an advertiser on Nextdoor, not only can I advertise my real estate stuff, but can I also advertise my interviews that I do on Parkbench um, so you can get more exposure to that. Okay, so I would ask, I would ask them that. All right. Um, otherwise, if you're just a regular user on Nextdoor, you can promote local content. Okay. You could also promote the local newsletter. Absolutely, Deb. Hey, here's a weekly roundup. Right? That's what this is. Hey, here's a weekly roundup for uh, the community. Check it out. And every week, you just go on there and you promote the weekly roundup. Now, have I heard that there are leaders of Nextdoor, you know, the, the community leaders who are your competition, right, who are realtors themselves, who when our realtors have posted content, that they knew that this was like a sneaky way to get exposure for their real estate business. And the real person who was the leader of the group was also a realtor. They were jealous and they tried kiboshing our realtor and shutting them down and, 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 uh, deleting their content yeah okay and that's because your competitor is a leader of the next door neighborhood and so i said fight back because that's a bunch of bs that when you're sharing local content you're not sharing your real estate content you're sharing local content and it just so happens that you're advertising on it no different than if you share stuff on facebook or a local news channel or whatever and if you're also advertising on those channels will you also get exposure absolutely okay and so what you're doing is you're sharing a local news source and they cannot block that they may try to because they're your competition um, but you fight back okay because they're not allowed to do that all right, it's no different than you sharing, you know, any other local news channel that you just happen to be advertising on as well. Okay, it's their fault for not having the website. Okay. Also, there's other local blogs and other websites. Like if I Google, okay, Dunville, okay, Ontario uh, news. If I if I was a realtor in Dunville, okay. I would look at these websites right here and I would think, hey, maybe, maybe I can share my interviews on these websites. And I would go on it, check it out. Okay, the Hallinman Press. Okay, let's check out this one as well. And so I would look at this and I would wonder if I'd be able to share my content. Okay. Things to do, local news, opinion. Let's see if people can post on here. So what I would be doing on local blogs is I'd be looking to see if I can add a post here. Submit content. Look at this. Here we go. Okay, and I would create an account and I would submit content. Or I would go to this website and I would want to do a search. There's got to be a search here somewhere. Search. Okay. So say I interviewed a restaurant. Okay. Articles. Okay. Oh, come on now. Fucking website. <laughs> Can't meet it. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. It's Freaking ads just causing me to click on things. God dang it. Stop it, ads. Look, and it, look, it look, looks like there's no ad, and then bam, an ad shows up, and it just messes me up. All right, here we go. Okay, restaurant. Say I interviewed a restaurant. I'm going to go search, okay, to see what stuff comes up. Gosh, look at all this stuff here. Okay, to reopen a sports bar, okay, say I interviewed a sports bar, I would go, I would go over here and I would find, okay, look, so view ad columns, I got to register and log in, but I would register for this website, if this was my area, I would log in 
and I would and I would start sharing, hey, check out this sports bar, check out this restaurant, and I would post the link because all of these are backlinks to the website, okay? Um, and this will help me get a more exposure to my interview if this was me. This will also help the SEO ranking of the interview because more backlinks are going to the website. Like when you hire an SEO person, that person says, I'm gonna get you backlinks, okay? Um, all they're doing is they're going to websites like this, going to a comment section of a blog that's related and putting the link to the thing that you want ranked, which is the interview on it. Okay, and it doesn't take you very long. You just need to put these sources in here, okay? And um, you need to then just post the links, okay? So I want you all to download, okay, this checklist. If you haven't already, I'm gonna put the link in it again. And I want you to create your own checklist, okay? Create your own interview promotion checklist right now, okay? It should take you 15 to 30 minutes, okay, to go on Facebook, okay? And so you tell me your area, and I'm going to help you find stuff, okay, to, to put in your interview promotion checklist, and everyone stick around for another half an hour to get this done because when this is done, when you share an interview, you just open up your spreadsheet, and you go, wow, like there's Facebook groups, okay, for this neighborhood where it's just everything. So I would join the group and I would just share stuff in this group whenever I do an interview about anything. So every, there's, there's a whole bunch of groups that for an area, every time you inter, do an interview, you just click on this link, share the post, and you'll get more exposure to it. Okay, so everyone download um, this sample checklist. Okay, maybe create, um, here, let me create a blank one. So here's, let me edit this sheet. Okay, this is the sample. Okay, and I'm gonna create a draft for you, you know, mine. Okay. And when you open up this Excel file, you just copy and paste all these things over and you just put it over here. Perfect. Okay. So now you just fill in information. What What's the type? What's the URL? What are some notes that you have some insight into? And, and then start putting, you know, ones in the columns that it relates to. Okay. This is what I want you all to create right now. Okay. So if you have an area that you want some help, putting finding places to to share your interviews then put your area in the chat box right now and i'll help you find one okay otherwise okay if you have any questions about how to do this task put that in the chat box right now if you have any questions about how to promote your interviews put that in the chat box if you have any questions about park bench Okay, um, and how to do this whole thing. Put it in the chat box and let's get to work together and let's get this thing done. All right, John, Dawsonsville. Okay, so here's how you do Facebook groups. It's really simple. You just type in your area. Okay, look at this. Okay, all this. Now, first, I'm gonna go to Pages, boom, right here, okay? This is a group that, that if I was you, I would go here, I would, I would join this group, okay? I would join it, there's posting all sorts of stuff about Dawsonsville, okay? 
and I would go to my Excel template and at the bottom, okay, I would say Dawson, Dawsonville, Georgia, Facebook group, put the link in, okay, everything, come on now, everything, and I'm going to freeze my panes so I can see this. Data, window, look at this little trick. Freeze panes. There we go. Everything. Perfect. Okay, I'm even going to do this. Unfreeze. Freeze. Now I'm freezing both. Okay. That's what I would do. So that would be one thing. And I would just go down the Facebook groups. Okay. So I would find all the groups that I think I could that I could uh, promote here. Dawsonsville, Georgia. Okay. Another one to promote your stuff on. Another one to promote your stuff on. Uh, okay. Then I'm going to go to... Uh, Groups, yard sale, okay, retail stores. I'm going to post on here. Anytime I interview anyone to do with the real estate business, I'm going to post on here. Anytime I interview any of the real estate business, I'd post on there. You just right click, okay, right click, open up a new tab, okay, copy and paste the title of this page into your Excel, copy and paste this group URL into the Excel, join the group, then start posting stuff. Okay. I might also go post. Okay. Location. Dawsonville. Georgia. I'm going to filter the posts, okay, by the area, okay, recent ones, and hey, look, here's a post, anything to do with the church, I'm going to add this, and I'm going to share stuff on there, okay, so here's another way to find pages, okay, make this list. Okay, Candace asks a great question. This all promotes the interviewees. Is this going to get referrals for our business? Who can answer this for Candace? Who has an answer for Candace? I know I have an answer for Candace. Who do you think has an answer for Candace as to why this extra effort to promote your interview on more places will help you build your brand, will help you get more leads, will help you get more clients and help you get more referrals. Candace, when you promote, if you do your interviews properly, that's why Deb, great job here. When you do your interviews properly, when you promote them, like if I was to go to this interview right here, and if I was to go on Facebook and go to my page, and go share this content, right? So this is just like if you were to go to your page. If I was to go share this content, fetching preview, boom. Okay, when you share your interview on social media, and you've created a feature image for your interview or for the thumbnail for your video, and that thumbnail or that feature image includes you and the person you've interviewed, you, your face is getting a ton of brand exposure. That's good for business. People will then click on it and go to the website, and you're getting a ton of brand exposure. And you're getting a ton of brand exposure for what you're doing for the community. And yes, it benefits the interviewee 
And that's the point because when you help the interviewee get more business, when you help them get more exposure, when you can go back to them and say, 200 people saw this, 300 people, 400 people, 500 people, there was over 10,000 impressions on social media. And you tell them the results of the exposure that you got them. What are they going to want to do for you? So it's not just that your face is everywhere, Candace. It's not just that you have lots of brand exposure and brand impressions, which is great. It's that you are truly giving more value to the person that you interviewed. More traffic to the interview helps it rank higher in the search engines. So forever and ever and ever, you're getting more brand exposure, more brand impressions. That person you interview is getting more brand exposure, more brand impressions. And when you give that person so much value, what are they going to want to do for you? This is why people will promote your brand. This is why people will refer you business. And if they can make money off the website, which the more people that go check them out, the more likely you, you and what you're doing for them through the interviewee and through the profile on their website is going to help them make money. If you can help do that, they're going to want to use you and give you money and help you make money. Okay. All right. Is that clear, everyone? Does everyone get that? Give me a yes in the chat box that this takes extra effort. It takes effort to make this checklist. It takes effort to promote your interview on more places. But is everyone seeing that that extra effort, I mean, this checklist will take one time to make. The promoting on these other places at the end when you promote the interview and you publish it will probably take an extra 15 minutes to then just click, click, promote, post, click, promote, post. Each site will take about one, two, three minutes to click, open up, make a post, share, go to the next one, click, open up the page, post the link, write a message, post, next. Okay, does everyone get that this extra 15 minutes that you're going to spend to promote your interview in more places is going to do wonders, okay, for your brand and for your reputation and for the relationship that you built or already had with that person to make sure that you secure their business and you get referrals from them and they want to promote you in return? Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. High five, everyone. Okay, hope everyone's doing that checklist. Let's do another one. Okay, let me do LinkedIn. Okay, who is next? Lake Nona, 32807. Okay, here's how you do LinkedIn. Okay, let's go to LinkedIn. Okay, if you have not connected with me on LinkedIn, I want to be your LinkedIn connection. Okay, add me. All right, I want to be friends with all of you. All right, and I want to see your posts and like your posts, okay? So check me out on LinkedIn, all right? But if you're on LinkedIn, all you gotta do is type in your area. It's really simple. You type in your area, okay? Maybe I'm just gonna type in first, I'm gonna type in Lake Nona, okay? And what I want to do is I want to look at groups. Okay, type in your area, groups. Okay, I'm going to add myself to the Lake Nona Network. I'm going to add myself. Look at all this. Anytime I do an interview with a business person, look at all these business groups. This is going to be amazing. Okay. When you add yourself to these LinkedIn groups, you can share your content. And what you're doing is you're going to get connected. Imagine when you share this at the bottom of the post, say, hey, are you a local professional who serves Lake Nona? Apply to be interviewed and featured on, right? Notice how I said apply to be interviewed and featured, not I would love to interview and feature you. Please, please, please let me know if you want to be interviewed featured. It's like, hey, if you want to apply to be interviewed and featured, Go over 
and share this link, right? All of you on your website, on the right side of the page, you have a request to be interviewed and featured. You should be sharing, okay, a link like this, okay, at the bottom of your post. Because when you share your interviews on these LinkedIn groups, all of these people have businesses. They're local professionals. And if it could be a way for you to get leads for relationships and leads for interviews to make it easier to book interviews. Okay. So look at all this. Okay. I would go over here. Okay. And let's do, let's do that, that zip code. What was that zip code? Okay. Three, two, eight, two, seven, three, two, eight, two, seven. Okay. Nothing. Let me see. People. I mean, look, I mean, you guys should be connecting with these people too. Okay. If they're in your area, three, two, eight, oh, seven companies, content. Okay. Look at these people. These are people that I can be messaging, interviewing. I can leave a comment. All right. Look, there's a lot of realtors posting content. Okay. Schools. Nope. Lake Nona. Interview teachers. Check this out. If you interview teachers, hello. Follow this page. Post on this page. Okay. Remember Reddit. This is how you go on Reddit. Okay, Lake Nona. Just go on Reddit and search. Okay, look for communities. Orlando, Lake Nona. Look at this. Boom. Okay, I would share all my interviews on this page. Okay, I would just save this. Go to my template. Lake Nona. Reddit. Link. Everything. Thing. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. How many sales? Who, who here? Okay. I want to do a prize. All right. By by twelve thirty, the person who has the most rows. Okay, the most rows, okay, of people in their checklist, okay, by 1230, and they can show me and prove it to me by emailing me, okay, you're going to email me your interview promotion checklist so I can look at it, and the person who has the most rows by 1230 Okay, gift card to a local business so that you can shop local and get to know more people and do more interviews. And the person who has the most by one o'clock. Okay, because this may take a little bit more time. So the person who hustles, okay, and goes until one o'clock and has the most rows. Okay, the most rows by 1230. Okay, gets a gift card. Person who has the most rows by one o'clock. Gets a gift card to a local business, just like we did a few weeks ago. And so I'll announce the winners. Okay, at 1230, you're just going to put in the chat box how many rows you got. Okay, and then you got to email me the Excel file to prove to me that you've done it. Okay, and also so I can look it over and make sure it's correct. And uh, the winners will have, I'll, I'll buy you a gift card to a local business. You just, you know, after tell me via email a local uh, coffee shop, you know, that you want to support and get a gift card to. And I will get you one so you can go meet more people and do more interviews and network and prospect. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get more of these done because this is how you're going to get more exposure for you, for the interviewee, for the website. Okay, hello. Someone just joined Park Bench. That's awesome. Man, things are heating up over here. This is really good news for everybody, right? You're all grandfathered in, and so we are just growing, and that's good for everybody. Um, 
And we're going to be developing some really cool new features and partnerships I'm working on um, that will all benefit you all. Okay. If you have any questions about how to do this task, okay, add your next door. Okay, add LinkedIn groups, add Facebook pages, add Facebook groups, okay? Add Reddit groups. If you can find local blogs, the cornerstone is gonna be Facebook pages, Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, Nextdoor, and Reddit. You know, that's gonna, you know, you could hustle and, and research on these pages for, right, you just, you just go to Facebook, Okay, let's do another one. Okay, if you guys have any questions, put that in the chat box. Thank you, Cherie. Okay, let's go over here. Where are my search results? Here we go. Let's look at another area. Amherst. Amherst NH. Okay. First, I'm going to go to pages. Okay, look at that. Teresa, you're right at the top. Woo! -hoo. Okay, garden club. Okay, I'm going to add, I'm going to share stuff if I do anything to do with gardening or outdoor stuff. I'm going to share on there. Okay, I'm going to go to pages. Okay. Police, communications. If you interview the police and the fire, oh, that would be cool. Interview the police. Interview the head of the police and the head of the fire and post on here. You know, that will get lots of views because all the people who work at the police and the fire are going to want to do watch the interview about their peer. Okay. Historical society. Anyone do with libraries and schools. Food truck festival. Anything with food. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to add this. You know, I would just go over here and just copy and paste this and copy and paste this link into my Excel template. Because anytime I interview anything to do with food, I'm going to share on this page. Okay. Any of the churches, I'm going to share on here. Schools and libraries, I'm going to share on here. Okay. Yard sale, anything to do with retail stores, I'm going to share on here. Or maybe I interview people who are doing a yard sale. I'm going to post on this. And that's going to get me a lot of exposure to people. And if you interview a yard sale, you got to wonder, if someone's doing a yard sale, what are they likely to do in the future? Sell? Right? They're doing a yard sale. They're probably going to be selling or buying. I might interview people who are doing yard sales. Amherst College. I would interview the teachers and the prof and the professors here, and I would share it on here. Actually, I don't know if Amherst College is the same as Amherst, uh, New Hampshire. Okay. Then I'm going to go to groups. Right. Look at this. Anything with Amherst, I'm going to share on here. Anything with politics, I'm going to share on here. Okay, anything with pets, I'm going to share on here. Right, I'm just constantly just building up my, my checklist of places to promote. Okay. Five more minutes until the first deadline for the first, you know, to see who's the best so far, who's the fastest, who's efficient, who is hustling, who is making this checklist. Okay, who thinks they're going to win? Put put I am in the chat box. All right, tell everyone how many rows you're at. Okay, places. Okay, look at this. Posts, all right. Obviously, I'm going to choose Amherst. O three O three one. There you go. Choose location. 
2019. I want to see who's posting recently. Furniture consignment. All right? This person posted in this group. I'm going to add this group on here. I'm going to interview the people who st- I'm going to interview the people who run this group and then I'm going to post it in this group. Hello. Okay. Look at all this. Okay, 2018, who's posting? All right, middle school. I'm going to interview the middle school. I'm going to post all the teachers' interviews in that group. Okay. Three more minutes until we're at the end of... Okay, first round, are there any questions? Put that in the chat box. If you have any questions about how to book interviews, how to do interviews, how to promote interviews, how to uh, get deals on the site, anything you want to know, if you want to ask me any question about me, about Park Bench, about the past, the present, the future, about how to do this, put that in the chat box, okay? And I didn't know about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. What a great link, Deb. You know? So you can share this link. Every one of you has, every one of you has that link. Parkbranch.com slash 030. Eight one. No, oh three oh three one oh three oh three one. Every single one of you has what's going on here? Like Nona. Get to know Lake Nona, Orlando. Lovely Lisa right there. Lisa, you got to do some interviews. You must be brand new. You got to do some interviews. Okay, but look at this. I like the purple. That's a cool look. The purple and the red. That's cool. I like that. Request to be interviewed. Bam. Share that. Lisa, you need to add some more information. Email, office, links to your website, links to your social media, edit your profile, add a bio, add more information. It's too bare, it's too bare. Take a look at Deb's site. All right, it's 1230. Everyone, right now, stop what you're doing in the chat box. How many rows have you done for this checklist? How many rows have you done? Okay, and you're going to send me your Excel spreadsheet or give me access to your Google Sheet if you did it on Google Sheets or your Apple Numbers if you did it on Apple Numbers. How many rows did you do? How many rows? Okay. Send your file to grantfs at parkbench.com. Okay. How many rows have you got done? Let's see who has emailed me. Let's see if anyone's emailed me anything yet. I'm new to social media. Totally lost. Shara's got six. Who's beat Shara? Shara, send me your file. 
Okay, so I can review. Keep going. Okay, go to one o'clock. Okay, go to one. Get, make this list big. Okay, just just don't stop until this list is big. Okay, you should be able to get this list to uh, 20, 30, 40, maybe even 50. Okay, make sure you feel like you've exhausted Facebook pages, you've exhausted Facebook groups, you've exhausted LinkedIn groups, you've exhausted Reddit groups, you've got your next door page on there. Okay, if those are the five things that you do and you exhaust it and you feel like there's no other pages that are relevant for you to be able to post content, okay, then great, save that checklist and use that every single time you do an interview. Anyone got more than Shara, okay? Otherwise, Shara's the winner for round one, go to one o'clock, okay? Now I'm gonna head off this webinar Okay, because unless there's questions that you all want me to answer, then what you can all do is at one o'clock, okay, you send me your interview promotion checklists and I will review them to make sure that they're done well so that you have a good checklist for your interviews, okay? All right, I want you to put it in the template because you need to use the template because that will help you um, be fast when you want to share that interview. So you need to have it on an Excel spreadsheet so that when you want to share an interview, it just um, automatically, it just, it just makes it very easier for you to click, post, click, post, click, post, done, all right, and then you're done. Okay. Great job, Shara. Okay, so for all, all the people that are on the webinar, I see a bunch of you either, okay, you're having this webinar run in the background and you're not really doing anything, which I don't recommend, or you're doing the research and you're creating your interview promotion checklist, which is awesome. Keep doing it. Um, or my computer's frozen. Those numbers don't make any sense. Okay. So if you are filling out your interview promotion checklist, let me know how many rows you've done. Okay. Otherwise, keep going. Go to one o'clock. All right, for the next prize, and even if you feel like you're not done at one, just keep going until they're done. Just get this task done, and you'll never have to do it again. Okay. Looks like Cher is the winner. Okay. All right, Tim, Bowen Island's really small. Now, there's going to be some Facebook groups and LinkedIn groups for your small area, for sure. I know that because I know Bowen Island. But yeah, you may want to then uh, breach into groups where you know that there's a lot of people um, who live in Bowen Island, come from West Vancouver, they come from North Vancouver, they come from the West Side in Vancouver. So, um, you know you can use your discretion, right? The goal, Tim, is to create a big list of places for you to promote your interviews that you know the people who are the members of that group will go, thanks, Tim, this was useful, this was insightful, this was cool, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna comment, I'm gonna share, right? That's really the end goal, okay? Um, is to just create a list where you know that when you share interviews on that sheet, people will go, Thank you. Okay. And you'll get more exposure. You get more people to the website and that's going to benefit you and the person you interviewed. Okay. All right. If there's no other questions, okay, I'm going to close down this webinar so you can all get focused on the tasks that you have to get done. So you can get focused on doing this and getting this done, okay? Send me your checklists, okay, by 1 p.m., okay, or by end of day, 
so I can review it, so I can make sure you did a good job. And I'm going to have some rewards for the people who have the biggest lists. Okay? Yeah, and go get lunch. All right. Hope this was helpful. Who who was who was helpful? Shara. Okay, once again, everyone, my email, I'm going to put a sticky note in here. Shara, email me some local coffee shops that I could maybe call and get a gift card for you because you are uh, winner number one. Okay. Good job. All right. Everyone else, okay, write my email down, okay, add me to LinkedIn, add me to Facebook, add me to YouTube. John's got four. Good job, John. Keep going. Although Cher is the winner. She's got 10 now. She's a hustler. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Let's see who is the winner. Okay. At 1 p.m. All right. With the most, most rows in their spreadsheet. Okay. And you should be able to get to, right? Like this is a client that I did this for um, or I did it, did it with him. And he was able to have, you know, a couple, two dozen places to promote. All right, hopefully you do too. Okay. I'm going to head out. Was this helpful? Was today's session helpful? What would you take from today? And, and, and maybe you guys are all too busy to write to me because you're too busy making your checklists. Let's hope so. Oh. All right, everyone. Have yourself a great day. I will send, I mean, you already have the, the, the template. But I will also send notes, okay, after uh, later today so that there's some other cool resources down here, okay, how to create your own Facebook business page, sharing content consistently, okay, advertising and boosting your posts, some extra information um, that's on our help center that I thought was relevant. Okay, here's some cool articles and some other resources. Okay, here's some tools. If you want to find blogs to post content on, if you want to research um, trending content, if you want to make it easy to post content on social media, okay, here are some tools. Awesome. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Sharon. Shara. Thank you, John. All right. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Next week, the mastermind is going to be moved to Wednesday. Wednesday. It's my anniversary, a one-year anniversary for Amanda and I on the weekend, so I am not available on Monday. Okay, Wednesday, we're doing the mastermind, 11 a.m. on Wednesday. Maybe we'll get some new people to come because it's a different day. Um, so uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Appreciate your time, as always. I hope this was of value, and I will see you next week. Send me your files. Send me your prom interview promotion checklists when you think you're done so I can help you make them great so you can have lots of places to promote your interviews and you get lots of brand exposure for you and your interviewee because there's lots of benefits to that. All right. Take care, everyone.